Today's video involves understanding how to set up a digital multimeter, or DMM, in your multi-SIM circuit. Digital multimeters can be found in the upper right-hand corner of your workspace. The multimeter itself is the item at the top. You can click it once, drag the tool onto your workspace. Now, how we're going to be using them is we're going to use them to measure both voltage and current. Please note the value on the side doesn't show you anything related to units. In order to set your multimeter, you must double click on it first to bring up the actual display. You'll have options to measure amperage, voltage, resistance in ohms, and decibels as well. No other settings have to be changed here. I'm going to be using this meter to measure voltage across each of my resistors. So I'm going to set up the multimeter above each of my resistors, click and attach it, one to each side of my resistor, and I'm going to measure the voltage across. Now, for this one particular unit, I'll simply turn it on and show you what happens. So when I run my simulation, it takes a moment, but the display will show me the value of the voltage in the actual circuit. In order to place more meters, I'm actually going to turn this one off, put that away, and pull out some additional meters as well. When I want to measure voltage for each one, I'm going to grab one meter for each location. Again, I will attach the leads according to the values I have here. I have one meter that looks a little awkward off to the side. I'll move it off to the left. One lead to each side of my resistors. Make sure that it is set to voltage. It is, in fact, as is this one. And what I should be able to verify is that with each meter, I can check the voltages I can measure. Notice that my previous calculation is already showing on my display. When I hit run again, it will simply update the values in case anything has changed. Notice that my values for my voltage for my first resistor, 1.397 volts, 2.984 volts, and then the third resistor, I have a negative 7.619 volts. The only reason this value is negative is because we think of conventional current in a certain direction. Notice that the positive negative connections here and your actual meter are reversed compared to the other circuits as well. If you'd like to fix that, you may. Otherwise, simply take the absolute value of your circuit. All you need to do is simply change your wires by deleting them and reverse the polarity of how you have it attached. So now when I hit run for a second time, please note that all of the values are now all positive. You'll want to verify your Kirchhoff's voltage law to make sure that all of the voltages you've found match the total voltage from your source. Now to measure current in a series circuit, or any circuit, you'll need one additional meter here. But how this one gets set up is we are not going to be measuring measure current across anything. Current travels through circuits. So what I'm going to need to do is with my simulation not running, I'm going to simply add the meter to the circuit as if it were a component in the circuit. So I'm going to delete this wire here, attach from my battery, back into my circuit here. So now that the meter becomes a part of the circuit, I'm going to double click on it and change the setting here. I want to measure currents. So I must measure amps. So if I click amps, that'll be all set to go. So I'm going to head, go ahead and put it run and see what happens with the measurement of my current. 6.349 milliamps. You'll find that this confirms the calculations we did previously. You always want to make sure to perform all your calculations first and use this tool to verify your calculations later on. This is how you enter a digital multimeter into a circuit to measure current. The other meters were set up to measure across resistors for voltage.